Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I um, It's kind of a weird time for me to go live, but I wanted to, to come on today and talk to you a little bit really honestly about my struggles this week. I had a really hard week. And a lot of you know that I've been very vocal lately about my struggles um, as a recovering fitness perfectionist. <laughs> um, my addictions to exercise, my addiction to looking and appearing fitness perfect all the time and striving for that constantly and striving to look that way even if it affected my health in negative ways. Um, because I've been really honest and open on, on Facebook and Instagram, but I'm getting more and more open about it. And I'm actually launching an online summit that's free that's going to be addressing this issue because I really feel like it is an epidemic in our culture where all of us women have this pressure to look a certain way all the time. And that a lot of our value and our worth is placed in what we look like. And especially when we're inundated with these images of Instagram all the time or inundated from the media of what fitness really looks like and health is supposed to look like. And um, I got, I was super caught in that especially as a fitness professional and in the industry, I was sucked into that. And fitness started as this really, really beautiful thing for me that, you know, brought me out of a really dark place and through a lot of adversity and gave me the strength and power to conquer things that I needed to conquer in my life. And it slowly transitioned um, throughout my career into becoming an obsession and um, I, it was never enough. I was never lean enough. I was never, you know, light enough. I was never small enough. I kept shrinking myself in order to try to prove that I was worthy of the industry. Um, I felt like that was my only power. And um, I, I've, I've, of course, come through that. I'm coming through that. <laughs> but it's really hard. It was not easy. It was not easy. It's still not easy for me. And that's why I wanted to jump on here today because I had a really rough week. And I just want you guys to know that you're not alone in this struggle. Like, I know we all get really down on ourselves about this, and we see these images that are just not real. They are just not real. I promise you. I've been in this industry. I've been doing fitness modeling and fitness competing for years. And what you see is not the truth. It's not real. And so the, the things that I would go through and strive to do and put myself through and the extremes I would go through in order to achieve that were really wrecking havoc on my health, um, on my social life, on my family, on my mental health, on my spiritual health. And so I just, I just want to tell you to stop sh trying to shrink yourself. Please stop trying to change that. And, and I hope you tune in to my free summit. It's 28 women and men in the industry that talk about this epidemic. It's coming in on uh, December 17th. It'll go live. It's free. Um, but I want to shed light on it because it's becoming crazy. I I've trained lots of women and all of the women to some degree that I've trained have had this body dysmorphia to some degree, some eating disorder, some disordered eating patterns, some obsession with orthorexia, which is the obsession to only eat clean food, um, bulimia, anorexia, exercise, anorexia, overeating, undereating, binge eating. It's just insane. Um, in order to achieve this look that we think we have to have in order to have power or um, to feel good enough. And so I really, really want you to understand that, you know, for me, I, I struggled with that for years, for years. And there is freedom. There is hope. Um, but but I, I want to tell you that this week was really interesting for me because I've been free of that. But this week was hard. And I'll tell you why. I had a photo shoot. I had a photo shoot um, after I've kind of come through all of this and I went back to my old ways. I went, I, I totally, re I digressed. I like went right back to my old thinking patterns, my old habits of, okay, I got to dehydrate myself. I have to not eat anything. I have to starve myself. I have to overexercise. I have to do all these crazy things that I used to do in order to look fitness perfect. And I went there and I literally had to drag myself out kicking and screaming wasn't easy to get out of that space and to just let myself be. And I had to make a choice. I had to choose to revert back to my addiction, which is to control it. And, and then I had to understand that that was a problem. That wasn't where I wanted to be. And I had to change it. I had to get out of my head. And so I've had to, I had to do a lot of work this week in order to understand that what I brought 
to that photo shoot was not fitness perfect, but it was fitness imperfect, and it was me. And I hope that through all of this and all of all the things that I'm doing, I'm trying to shed light on, that it can help someone, that you hear this and you know that there's hope, that you don't have to get caught in that vicious fitness cycle of looking and feeling like you have to be perfect all the time, look a certain way, lose that baby weight right away. No, have no, we all have stretch marks, have no stretch marks, have no cellulite, have a perfect waist, all these things that we strive to look and be like, it's not what matters. What matters is the why, is the why. And I had to go back to my why, and I had to go back to what my why is and why I want health and fitness. And fitness isn't always synonymous with health, right? People that look fit all the time are sometimes the unhealthiest people you'll ever meet. That was me. So I want to just under, I want you to understand right now, go back to your why. Whenever you're going into that cycle, go back to your why. Why do you want to feel a certain way? Why do you want to look a certain way? Is there, is what's going on in your life that's not giving you enough confidence or that you're not getting from your life that's making you think that's where your power is? So there's a lot of things that happened this week, but I just wanted to share that with you, that it wasn't easy for me, but I broke free of it and I'm breaking free of it. And that's why I'm probably going to be starting to release something called Breaking Fitness, which is um, kind of <laughs> the series of how I'm breaking fitness and this myth and this epidemic that's going on in our culture where women are supposed to be this, you know, these hard bodies all the time and these images on magazines are real life. It doesn't work that way. I'm sorry, it doesn't. And there's so much that goes on behind the scenes that I can share that is crazy that women do to look that way for an hour on their photo shoot that, that detrimentally affects their health for life. So I'm shedding light on it. I'm going to continue to shed light on it. I want you to tell me what you want from me. Tell me what you need from me because I'm here to help. My whole purpose in this is to help shed light on this industry and make sure people understand that, yes, there was a point I take full ownership of it. I perpetuated it. I did. But I'm going to change that. And I'm going to start now. So join me for my free summit. It starts on December 17th. I'll share it with you guys. It's totally free. And there's women in the industry, men, ex-celebrities that are coming to talk about this epidemic and how it's negatively affect them and how to change it if you're stuck in that cycle, how to make a difference, how to shift it, how to give you hope to get out of that if you're there. Because I've been there. It's dark. It's not fun. But there's hope. Okay, so stay with me, stick with me. That's why I created all my programs. That's why I created this group is to continue to talk about things that matter, that are real. Okay, so tell me what you need from me. I want to hear from you. Tell me if you liked this, if this mattered to you, if this is what you want from me, because I, I feel like it's my, it's my, it's my mission, and I'm gonna start talking about it more and more. Um, it's taken me a little bit to get the courage, honestly, because it's, it's, it's something that's hard to admit right? It's hard to admit, oh yeah, I've had every eating disorder on the planet. Oh yeah, I've had every disordered eating <laughs> problem on the planet. I've over-exercised. I've over -ate. I've under -ate. I've done it all, right? That's not easy to say out loud. But I think that if I shed light on it and share, that people will start to get hope and come out of that cycle. So um, continue to, to, to stay with me and share, share with me. I want to hear from you. I want to know that it's making a difference. Um, I hope it is because I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep talking about it and I'm going to keep on my stand. I'm going to keep on my mission and I'm going to keep spreading it. So if you guys need something from me, let me know, but I'm going to jump on again later this week and shed some more light on some more things. So get ready for that. And, um, I hope you're having a great week and I hope that if you're in that cycle, that you reach out to me, you reach out to me cause I can help you. Um, fitness doesn't have to be insane and crazy and extreme. You can have, you know, health without the extreme. You can't have hope. You can't get out of that cycle. So if you're there, just reach out to me. It's okay. We've all been there. We've all experienced some part of it. Women especially have experienced some portion of this. Even if it's this much, you've experienced it. I know it. Okay. Bye, guys.